Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to another quick review. It's going to be a quick review of a game I completed a few months ago, so I'm a bit late with this one. But this is The House of the Dead Extended Cut for the PlayStation 3. See the back? See you've got a bull with like some massive cleaver thing, like something up God of War. So yeah guys, this is the first time that I've played a House of the Dead game on a console. I don't actually know how many dead are alive, uh, dead or alive. I don't actually know how many House of the Dead games there actually are on console. I think there's a few on the Wii. And of course there's this. I'm not sure if there's any on the PlayStation or the PlayStation 2. You know, I could be wrong. Uh, I think they've gone like the Dreamcast and that, I would think. But again, guys, I'm not really that sure. Uh, first time playing a console, uh, House of the Dead, anyway. I remember on holiday I played House of the Dead in an arcade. You know, one of the arcade machines. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun with the gun, but it was quite cool. But I'm not here to talk about that, I'm here to talk about this game. And this game is actually a real blast. You know, I really, really enjoyed this game. You know, it's probably like a four or five hour long game. Uh, you know, it's quite short. But for me, the main thing about it is the humour. The humour is just absolutely hilarious. Uh, great characters, you know, really, really good interaction with the characters. And it just... It's just humorous, guys, you know, it's just genuinely funny. I just couldn't help myself but laugh at it, you know, I mean, some of the dialogue in that was stupid, and, like, the cutscenes and that were stupid. But, um, stupid in a funny way, you know, in a, you know, a humorous way. Even some of the way the monsters look, you know, some of them have got, like, you know, boobs. So, yeah, boob monsters. And obviously the characters in the game, obviously pointing that out. But, um, you know, it's just it's just humorous. What I also love about it, guys, is it's just one of those easy-to-play games. You know, it's one of those pick-up-and-play games. You don't have to master it, you know, you can just pick it up, play it, because you get infinite credits. Uh, all it does, basically, if you die, is uh, it takes some of your score off you, so you don't get such a high score. But, um, you know, you get infinite credits, you know. So, so you can really just sit back, relax, and play it at your own leisure. Unless you're worried about your, you know, your high score, that's a different matter. The game can also be played in 3D. The game comes with 3D glasses. Uh, unfortunately, I got my game second hand, so it didn't actually come with the glasses. But luckily, I did manage to play it in 3D, because my dad had these. He's a Samsung 3D glasses. Here we go, Samsung. Yeah, 3D glasses, so I stuck these on, and I had a good old game in 3D. And you know, it was quite fun, you know, I mean, it's different, you know. This is for thumbnail purposes. There we go. Um, yeah, it's it's something different, you know. I mean, I'm not a big, you know, 3D fanatic. But, you know, I thought it was quite fun, you know. So, um, yeah, I think we'll do away with it. But when I first played for the game, uh, I played for it, you know, without the glasses. It's just after I completed it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try the 3D glasses, you know, just to see what it was like. And, uh, yeah, it was, it, was an, it was an experience, you know, it was quite fun, not going to lie. So what you've got to do in the House of the Dead Overkill is basically guys, you've just got to wait, make your way through the levels uh, while killing the undead on the way and at the end of the level you get a boss and it's like, what, eight or nine different levels and I'll say it takes you about four or five hours to complete the whole game and like the more like headshots and stuff you get on zombies obviously the more score you get and also if you look around, you know, the areas you can like see like money lying around so what you've got to do is you've got to shoot the money and you can also like unlock like artwork and things by shooting hidden, you know, pieces of artwork that are uh, hidden throughout the levels. What you do with the money is you can just save it up and then like upgrade your guns or uh, buy new guns. So um, I played for the game. We start you start off with a handgun, uh, I bought a machine gun, and then I bought a shotgun. It's basically what I could afford throughout the whole game, you know, because I was really crap at shooting the money. Yeah, shooting the money, you have to be real bloody accurate, you know, because it goes by so fast, you know, because you have to, like, keep your eye on the woman zombies as well. By the time you shoot the zombies, obviously the screen moves to another area, and you've missed that, that piece of money. So, yeah, I was quite bad at shooting the money, and I only managed to get three weapons, like I say, machine gun, the standard handgun, and the shotgun. Shotgun, I thought, was pretty crap, to be honest, because it was so slow. Uh, I think you can upgrade it to, like, so you can have more bullets in it. But uh, for what I had of it, it was, it was quite crap. I just stuck with the, the handgun and the machine gun. So yeah guys, for me, House of the Dead Overkill is a welcoming addition to my games collection. And uh, I would say it's a must play if you're into like shooting zombies and things. I would say it's a, a must play. 
or if you like unreal shooters. But anyway guys, yeah that is House of the Dead Overkill. Let me know what you think of House of the Dead Overkill. Let me know if you've played it, if you think it's any good or uh, maybe you don't like it. You know, just leave it in the comments below guys. I always like to hear your guys' opinions and I will catch you all in the next video. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay cool man. Stay cool.